Every actor can be in a bad film. Even Robert De Niro and Al Pacino had righteous kill. But more often than not, these missteps are merely blips on the radar amidst a prolonged run of success. Then there are those who star in one bad feature and see their Hollywood dreams come crashing down in flames. Here are Screen Rant's five movies that killed actors' careers. Attack of the Clones Hayden Christensen was coming off a Golden Globe nod for his acclaimed role in Life as a House, so playing Anakin Skywalker in the final two Star Wars prequels was his ticket to the mainstream, right? There's some debate as to whether it was Christensen's acting abilities or George Lucas's poor writing that turned the actor into one of the most reviled figures in the franchise. Life seems so much simpler when you're fixing things. But there's no denying he was never the same after complaining about the roughness of sand. I don't like sand. Though he has lent his talents to smaller films, he hasn't headlined a major picture since Jumper in 2008. His career seems to have turned to the dark side. Showgirls. Elizabeth Berkley was looking to shed her Saved by the Bell good girl persona, so she teamed up with Shockmaster Paul Verhoeven for Showgirls, an exploration of the seedy world of strip clubs. The film generated a lot of attention for being the first widely released NC-17 film, and in the end, it turned out to be all hype. Critics considered it tasteless and unsexy despite its raunchy subject matter, and the generic script and wooden acting couldn't get it past the guilty pleasure stage. It has a cult following now, but at the time of its release, Showgirls was heavily criticized. It won a then record seven Razzies and failed to earn back its budget at the box office. Trip. Jerry Maguire put Cuba Gooding Jr. on the map, and his meteoric rise to stardom was matched only by how quickly he fell. After a vengeful travel agent purposely books Jerry Robinson and his friend Nick on a gay singles cruise, the two heterosexuals are forced to pretend they're gay just so they can get close to the boat's dance instructor. Boatrip was accused of being homophobic and embracing juvenile stereotypes, and it found new and interesting ways of offending viewers of any sexual orientation. Though Jerry does learn to view the world in a better light, this film isn't as progressive as we would have hoped. I Know Who Killed Me We think we know what killed Lindsay Lohan's career. Looking for a change of pace after Mean Girls, Lohan settled on this horror thriller about a serial killer victim who claims she's someone else when she's found alive. Who is Aubrey? That's potentially a meaty role, but this film was hampered by a ridiculous plot that failed to hold audiences' interest. Many saw it as trashy and distasteful and thought that nothing in the plot gave the movie any suspense. Instead of embracing a campy B-movie tone, director Chris Siverston tried to inject it with artistic sensibilities, which only made matters worse. Lohan never became the serious actress she wanted to be, and has had trouble finding work ever since. The Love Guru Mike Myers is one of the biggest names in comedy, but even he isn't untouchable. The Love Guru was a critical and commercial bomb that faded the funny man into obscurity. The consensus was that the film relied too much on thin, gross-out gags instead of genuine humor to get its laughs, creating a movie that was crass and repulsive. The film was also deemed culturally insensitive to the Hindu people by many who saw it, finding much of its humor in poking fun at Indian dialect and religious beliefs. Rajneesh! I've seen an offensive, The Love Guru will make you question if you'll ever laugh at comedy again. Some call me the gangster love. Those are our picks for movies that killed careers. Are there any we missed? Which career ending movies are infamous to you? Let us know in the comments section and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.